All right, we're gonna do a look with the Essence. Welcome to Cape Town palette. Now, the palettes that Essence has like this, they are $10. Um, I recently, I bought the, um, one of the butterfly palettes. I actually didn't like it, but the matte shape, matte, matte range in there wasn't like super big. So like, it didn't have like the dark shades. It just had like the more like the lighter shades, so. This does. This has the full package over here, okay? The full package, so. Let's pin her hair back. What are we gonna prime with today? Let's go ahead and use our Too Faced 24 Hour Shadow Insurance. Try to use what um, eyeshadow primers I know works real good with everything when I try to use newer stuff. Especially when things are like hit and miss, you know? When this is empty, I definitely will buy their newer packaging. Hopefully it's the same formula. I watched um, Carrie Meegan use this palette and it did not work at all for her, but I am not hopeless. I still have the uh, good hopes. And I think it's because I used the butterfly palette. So we're about to see. If you like to watch her video, I do recommend her. I do like her. I watch a whole array of people over here. I watch people who don't even follow trends. Heck, some people don't even use the new, <laughs> the new stuff that comes out. I just do. I watch everybody. I watch people who only use Makeup Revolution. Don't matter to me. All right. Not the brush I want. This works. This is the brush I want. So we're gonna use. We're first gonna go off into the shade. Let's use. Let's go ahead and use this green. There is no shade. At the they go by numbers. You can see right here. But if you've been here long enough, you know I cannot match the numbers to the front to save my life. You know what? Actually, oh, they're going this way. One to ten. Huh? Well, they're going one to six. Just know they're numbered. I'm going into this little foresty green. So we're going into the foresty green shade here. Oh, that's good. Well, that's a pretty good lasting impression. No problem here. I'm no longer scared to use this palette. I remember what doesn't work for you might work for me. And what works for me might not work for you. And that is wholly fine. I'm not using a colored base. I'm just using good old Too Faced 24 hour setting base. I didn't set it with anything. I don't set none of my bases, okay? I think that defeats the whole purpose. I 
that is beautiful. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> She does have some kick up, but every palette I've ever used in my entire lifespan has kick up. All right, so let's go in. We're gonna use the orange. So we're going into this shade right here. And we're definitely gonna use the gold too in this palette because the gold is calling my name. Ooh, what's that? Holy pigmentation. Oh my god, I was like, I kind of feel like a lizard. You can call me a lizard boy. I do have another essence palette I do plan to make a video with too this weekend. Let me go ahead and show you. It's the um, Welcome to London palette. I do plan to make a video with that this well this weekend as a tomorrow project. My eyes are too sensitive to make two videos a day with eyeshadow, so. Going with a little bit more of that green shade we went in at first. Beautiful. Okay. I do want to use this dark blue on the outer portion of the eye. Make sure you're blending on both sides. You can't really tell too well looking out from the left side.
Oh yeah. Look at that. So far, so good with the mats. That's why I don't base my um, purchases off others' reviews. Because if I would have went off Carrie Megan's go with, go with this palette, I would have never bought this palette. And look, I wouldn't have this outcome so far. And I would have missed out. Sad. And I went based off the color story. I have to look in this mirror over here for this other eye. And all my people who have <laughs> seen problems with their glasses, everyday glasses, understand my problem. And this is blending very well. I'm not having any troubles with adding on top of the collar. I'm going with a little bit more of that green. I want to blend. Oh, looks like I lost a little bit of my blue. Blending too much. It's fine. We're about to add in the shimmer. All right, so let's add in our shimmer. Can you tell my eyes watering down here? Here's what, it, it is a little powdery if you can't, if you can see that. Let's blow it out. I'm gonna get the nice glittery glue.
Alright, that is noon. Shimmer brush, I'm just using. We use our Hugs and Teddies brush, which is also from Essence. Yeah. We're gonna go into this gold, and then I'm gonna go into the shade. So gold first for the inner part. Gold isn't, smells like it's picking up too well on this brush. It's picking up pretty flaky on this brush. Let me try a different brush. Let me go with my original brush, the L19 from Laura Lee. Yeah, no, the gold is disappointing me. Now we're struggling. Okay. It's my, where's my Joa brush? I already used my Joa brush this week. Here she is. I've already used her this week. Let me clean her up a little bit. Nope, oh, same thing. Okay, well, we're gonna make do because I'm wearing this in gold. You could apply this for your finger and be fine. I just don't like applying with my finger. So therefore, I shall struggle because I'm stubborn. There we go. I just picked up a giant chunk and that went on great. Oh, that's beautiful though. Now will this detour me from using this in the future? No. I don't know. Pick it up like this. And she will go apply. Just got a chunker on. That gold is beautiful though. Totally worth the struggle. Let me, yeah, that picks up great on your finger. So I really didn't have to struggle like that. I could have just picked it up on brush or on my finger and been fine. I just didn't want to pick it up on my finger. I don't like applying shades with my finger. I'd be fat fingering. I don't like doing it like that. It's not my forte. <laughs> I don't think that's ever my forte. Okay, so now let's see if we can. Here's what that looks like now. <laughs> now we're off struggle bus city. 
We're gonna go into this dark blue. I don't think we're gonna have as much trouble with this shade as we did this beautiful gold brick. It was gorgeous. Oh yeah. That's picking up way better than gold. You're not gonna have that trouble with the other four shades. There's no way. Oh man, this is gorgeous. Look at that. It's gonna blend in with that blue too. I'm just patting it in. When I try new palettes, I like to um, mostly do what I normally do for my looks too, if you're new here. So that way you can see the full effect and then I can use a good portion of the shades. Because for my everyday looks, I do use a lot of shades. Because I love collar. I would say the B word. I say the B word a lot. It's my favorite word, I think, in real life. <laughs> Don't ask. I mean, you can ask, but I can't really explain to you why it just is. I don't find it offensive. And we got like you guys being like, yes, queen. I'm like, yes, bitch. <laughs> Look at that. Do you see that blending in? I love this palette. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm annoyed with that gold, but I'm loving this. Ten dollars? Shit. What we call batty on a budget. I'm excited to use the other one tomorrow. And I promise for sure next week you'll have a weekly palette recap. Sometimes you just get in like a, a makeup slump and then you don't get up to do your makeup right. So then nothing gets done with your makeup and that just sits there. All the pretty shit set there, and that's just that's literally been me. So, the makeup looks you've seen are the ones that I filmed when I've got home from work. I'm gonna add just a tinge more of our gold brick to this eye. We were grocery shopping the other day, and I go to the feminine section, and my husband seen they had organic stuff. Sweet deal, because everything breaks me out. So I'm hoping these do not. Also, those Barbie uh, mirror full films from NYX, from the NYX collection. <laughs> Everybody's upselling for like 90 bucks. 90 bucks. Why? Don't, do not fall for it, okay? Let me tell you, you really want that? Wait, wait for a couple months and then when, when the scalpers realize no one's gonna buy that from them, it'll start dropping in price. I promise. <laughs> Cause that's what this baddie on a budget does. I wait for things to drop, like way drop. Like I have a um, PR box. I bought a PR box from what Wild the Sesame Street collab they did for twenty one dollars. I bought it. Right, it's originally ninety bucks from uh, Ulta. I bought that for twenty one bucks. Yes, I don't know. Baddie on a budget here. That's what. I counted that. That's like 11 items all together. $21. Yes. Listen, we're in a recession, okay? 
We're also trying to be like makeup queens, right? We're all trying to cake our faces. And we're also trying to do that on a budget because I know it's a little rough out there right now. Let me clean this up and come right back and I'll tell you how I feel about Welcome to Cape Town. All right, this is our ending look. Very happy with with it, with how it turned out. If I quit stumbling over myself, um, I only struggled with just this gold shade. She's a little, you know, crumbly. She comes off and crumbles. If you use your finger, you'll have no trouble. The rest of them, they pick up fine. This one's a little bit more harder to press. This little shade right here. Everything else picks up good. Trouble just with the one shade. That's fine. I'll take that. But I say this is a lovely grunge palette. And you have a neutral look. Get this shade, this brown, this. I like it. I give it a 9 out of 10. She would be 10 out of 10, but then gold, she gave us some problems, okay? She probably. I just don't like using my finger with eyeshadows because, you know, that can lead to hard pan. If we don't want a hard pan, no go, you know? Overall, not too bad for 10 bucks. I like it. This will get definitely get used more, you know? Uh, lips today is just a lip liner. I have some very dry lips, and I got a cracked lip, so I don't want to irritate them anymore. So just a lip liner. Dragon Beauty Lip Liner Shade Lip Job. Beautiful lip liner. Love this lip liner. I'm going to be sad when this is finally used up. This thing was like a foot long when I got it. Crazy. <laughs> that was like over a year ago. <laughs> I have no idea how long I've had that, but long enough. Highlighter. If you like this highlighter, it's the from the Michaela Part 2 palette, and it's in the shade... Are you kidding me? It's this one. My husband compliment, co complimented me one time when wearing that darker highlighter, and now I can't stop. That's <laughs> all it took, one time. Inner corner highlight today is from the Alice in Wonderland Wet n Wild collection. Uh, curiouser and Curiouser. I use the uh, little purple slot here. As the palette itself didn't have a light enough shade for me for there so that's what I used I don't know overall beautiful makeup look if you're liking how great the brows look I like how natural they look I just used a the Tarte DIY brow pencil detailing pen I've been liking the little ink pens I think they've been doing great I already have great brows. I just fill them in to give them a little bit more depth so it goes with the rest of our cake face. I don't know. Love it. Anyway, that's our look today. Have you tried the Essence Little Town palettes? Let me know. Are they working for you? Are they not? They're hit and misses. Let me know. So far, I've just been having hits. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.